Hello everybody, Eagle Nation has descended on Indianapolis. It's an exciting time. We are talking to hundreds of fans from Moorhead State University. It's great to see the community coming out and supporting MSU during this just exciting time here in Indy. And in case you didn't remember, we are the team that's representing the bluegrass and we're excited to be here. It's great seeing some of our season ticket holders here, but also seeing some faces we haven't seen for a long time, people traveling from other states. Very proud of what's going on with Moorhead State University. So I hope you enjoy hearing from some of these people, getting their perspective on such an exciting time and really showing their Eagle pride. Absolutely. It puts us on the big stage. It puts us in the spotlight. I actually asked Preston if he liked the term Cinderella, and he said, no, that doesn't apply to us. We've worked really hard to get here, and they have. And every one of these players, the coaches, they've overcome so much adversity to get here, to have their own story to tell. So it's really important that they get to tell it on this kind of stage in the big dance in a really historic year to be doing it. You know, we have our, our hardcore diehards that have been at every game, even through all the challenges of COVID, and they're up here as well. And then you have alum um, that are, are proud to kind of dust off a little bit of the blue and gold and, and, and come out here and, and, and support the team and represent uh, a part of them that really means a lot. And I think it's special to, to, and I'm excited and grateful just to be a part of it. Bentley, you know, he's eight and he's become famous for his dance moves on ESPN. And so he, he was laughing after I picked him up from school after that. And he said he's the, he was the big man on campus that day. Um, his teacher asked for his autograph and all of his friends were like, we saw you dancing. And people were asking to see his dance moves. So he was loving it. And our daughter, of course, she loves the attention. They're both like their father. They don't shy away from the spotlight very much. So. Yeah, we've been playing this video game at home. And he's been teaching me some moves, so, yeah. You think you have more moves than him now? Oh, definitely. What about your sister? Uh, she's pretty good at dancing. She tries to steal the spotlight from everybody. She's trying to be the star of the show every time. But. I uh, text President Morgan the day, the Sunday after we won the OVC, and I said, I know we spent a lot of money to recruit students on the ads, but I tell you what, Coach Bradley and the boys, I said, I've been watching the ESPN for two hours and ten minutes. Every 10 minutes, it's Moorhead State, Moorhead State. So, you know, great publicity for our university and show how special a place Moorhead is. I'm a Moorhead alum. Uh, my bachelor's, my master's, my superintendent certification all come from Moorhead. Uh, I was fortunate enough to be appointed to the board to serve there. But uh, to be here in Indy with all my Moorhead family and stuff and uh, Ruder Boys on, and uh, just a very exciting and stuff. And uh, congratulate Coach Bradley and all his staff and kids because. Uh, Coming from a small school district, I'm superintendent. My boys won the district championship last night, which was back to back, and that's the first time we did that in 90 years. So I understand when you do something that don't happen often, how special it can be.